selecting the correct heating mode to suit your heat emitter type. So we'll press on hold that menu button until the screen changes to get us into the installer side of things. And we're going to look at the heating side. So we'll start off with this one here. This is a constant fixed water flow temperature. Dead giveaway there is when we come back to that front screen there, we now see we've got a flow temperature. And that's not going to change. So whatever temperature you set it for is what water temperature it's going to try and achieve. I tend to use this majority of the time just for the commissioning. So make the system work really hard just to prove it's all working correctly. And then I don't tend to use it. The only applications where you might think about doing it differently is if you do want to have a set water temperature, say for example, um, you're connecting this onto something like say a swimming pool or an air handling unit, but it's not, it's not a normal situation. Let's get back in touch, press and hold. Back into the heating, and we're going to look at weather compensation. So here's my weather compensation curve on the right hand side, and you can see that as the actual air temperature outside increases, I reduce my flow temperature. And this would suit any form of heat emitter where you've got a separate stat in each room or for each area. So for example, for underfloor heating or for example, say on the eye lights as well. So you've got a separate control in each area and you just want to keep a temperature, correct water temperature going off to the header where you're drawing the energy from. So that's the idea behind that. And a dead giveaway you've got that mode set is when you come back to that front screen, you'll see you've got that little symbol there and then plus zero there. You can actually adjust that weather compensation curve in idea, up or down temperature. Um, but my recommendation would be to go in and edit that weather compensation curve co correctly. If they're changing this, you would be asking why. Let's look at the third option. And this is auto adaptive. So when we come back to that front screen, the big giveaway here is we now have a room temperature. So it's showing what the current room temperature is and what room temperature it's trying to achieve. So what it does here, use the weather compensation curve in the background, and then it tweaks that weather compensation curve to suit. So that makes sure that the room's getting up to temperature in a reasonable time. So as I say, it's a self-learning system. So it works really well with a common central point as a stat. So whether that stat is um, the actual controller itself, or whether it's a wireless controller, or it's a thermistor that we run from the unit on TH1, and we put that off somewhere central in the corridor area, but we're looking at one central point for that zone. And that's why I tend to use things like radiators and things like that, but the whole point is to get you thinking about whether the system has been set correctly.